Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with an unboxing of the Nikon D3200. As the successor to the very well regarded D3100, this has quite a few new features, so let's take a look. What I have here is the D3200 with the 18-55mm kit lens, which is the most common way you'll find the camera. Once you pop the top, you'll find a few things, including your warranty information. Also included is a Nikon School invite, a CD with the Nikon View NX2 software, the user manual on CD, as well as a paper manual in both English and Spanish. Next up, you'll find the box that contains your accessories. In here is a USB cable, an AV cable, your Nikon strap, and a cover for the viewfinder. Also included is your MH24 battery charger and your EN EL14 battery, both of which carry over from the D3100. The next box contains the kit lens. This is the same 18-55mm that Nikon has had around for a while and is a solid starter zoom lens for the D3200. The last box contains the D3200 itself, wrapped nice and snug inside bubble wrap. At first glance the camera looks quite similar to the D3100, and that's because it is. The DSLR is still made out of a reasonably solid feeling plastic, but just about everything from the texture to each surface and button has been tweaked. Around back, you'll find the 3 inch 921,000 dot display, which is a major improvement. The live view switch from the D3100 is now a button, and you can also notice some tweaks in the thumb grip and a new button allowing you to change your shooting mode. Up top, the mode selector has been removed, and the video record button is now between the info and the aperture slash exposure button. The grip is still a bit small for some people, but it's also been tweaked, as has the placement of the shutter button. On the left side, you'll see a button to use the flash as well as the function button, which you can customize to adjust your ISO, image quality, or white balance. Beneath the rubber flap, you'll see a proprietary port for GPS or the Wi-Fi dongle, mini HDMI out, a combo USB and AV out port, as well as a 3.5mm microphone jack, which is a huge deal for video shooters like myself. Over on the right side, you'll see a single SD card slot, which can handle SD, SDHC, and SDXC memory cards. On bottom, you'll find a tripod mount, as well as the door that houses the battery. With a 24 megapixel sensor, manual control over both video and audio, and optional Wi-Fi connectivity, the D3200 has a lot going for it. If you want to see more on the camera, check out my full review and comparison with the D3100 as soon as they're uploaded. If you enjoyed, definitely be sure to leave this video a thumbs up, and to be notified as soon as more videos on the D3200 are up, be sure to subscribe.